Hello and welcome to episode 30 of series 7 of Master League Story Mode. We've got one thing on our mind today and it's the first game in this episode. The FA Cup is back. We just about got through to the second round, but now... We've got West Ham standing between us and a quarterfinal spot. We would love a cup run. We would love a cup. So we've got to start strong. Come on! Yeah, no question there. Thanks for the passion tokens, everyone. Uh, so, yeah, hoping for some good form today. Hoping for some good form. Ooh. Ah... Oh, that's, ah, that's not what we needed. And there's a big problem there. There's a huge problem. We don't have a DMF. Oh, thanks for the passion tokens, everyone. I think we're going to need it. We've had problems against this team before because of, just to skip ahead, these two, these two beasts in the center. Big Tommy Suchek and obviously England legend Sir Declan Rice. Oh, you feel like Chair and Hester Cook in the midfield there are really going to struggle. Um, Zanatanov, slightly more physical, but could be a big problem. Let's first of all take out uh, take out Big Josh and bring in um, Leighton. Decent effort. Seeger at DMF. Interesting idea. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Can play those. He's 69 rated. The Cashman at DMF. That's not a bad shout, actually. Cash money in at DMF. Should I might go for that. I think that's what we go with. I think bringing in Chair against... We've, we've seen him struggle in the past against Suchek and Rice, as anyone would. Um... Go with a higher team spirit. We're only dropping one team spirit, so I'm happy with that. Um, we'll bring in Williams there. Caicedo's been excellent recently. Um, lots of questions around Timothy Weyer's form. Obviously, some big misses in the last episode. Did score against City. Um, he needs a goal today. Armstrong and Brereton looking good. Zanatinov is in a bit of a poor patch of form you could say Zidandinov needs a good performance today as well Baines in I'm okay with that, it's not De Silva I love De Silva at left back would have been great to have him as an option in midfield but anyway, it's fine, it's fine we can do this, we can do this big big game here, big big game there's Seager, captaining the side today tempted to play him in midfield I think we've made the right choice Calabresi at right back is fine we know he's solid there I'm actually, surprisingly, with three downward red arrows to key players. Pretty confident about this team. Pretty confident. West Hammer, an interesting beast, though. So we'll see how we get on. Armstrong. Interesting. Oh, good fall here to Zanatanov. Oh, wow. <laughs> Huge error there from West Ham early on. And Zanatanov absolutely gutted by that one. There's a nothing ball inside. Diop could have dealt with that. Oh. And the nutty one is there. Almost pokes it between the legs. If I remember correctly, it's long balls into Haller and then those knockdowns that did for us in past games here. Oh, Leighton Baines having a great game. Rolling back the years. Now BB King. Way is pulled wide. Has he got the pace to get away from Dawson? Nope, Dawson very strong. And Soppy Bollocks can clear. Now Hester Cook. This is where we want him. Picking out passes like that, lovely work. Zanat Dinov, BB King looks to curl it in, and that is beautifully caressed there by the Chilean. The King's not dead. Long live the King. Long live the King. Lovely stuff there. Hester Cook just given time to pick his head up and pick that pass. And there he is, rightly getting the praise from his teammates. That's what he needed. A bit of space there. No attention from Suchek or Rice. Zanatinov's pass is a good one. And it is a beautifully curled finish from a man who continues his goal-scoring form. He's continued it from last season, season before. What a player. Suchek wafts one up towards Alaire. That's where we're in danger if we can 
Avoid that would be better off. BB King now receives it from Zanatdanov again. Explodes forward. Away now. BB King. Oh, looking for Zanatdanov there. Oh, very close. And that's half time. Great half. Really, really strong half from Leatherhead. That's what we needed. Oh, Declan Rice does really well. Seager can't get to it. Alaire's allowed to turn. Oh, bloody hell. Thought that was in. That's what we don't need. We don't need to concede now. Big Timothy. Oh, Zidandinov. That's class. BB King. Oh, what a turn away from Dawson. Oh, no. Oh, a little bit more composure there. With Fabianski well off his line. Love the footwork there from Zanadinov. That's what he can do. But he'd beaten Dawson there. Lovely first touch. Fabianski comes flying out there. Maybe a little touch to take it back onto the right. Maybe a little crafted left foot chip. Could have been 2-0 there. Now Leighton Baines. Inside to Matty Cash. Keeps it moving here. Baines puts it up towards Weyer. Oh, what a way to introduce himself to the game that would have been. Cash gets a tackle in. Oh, and it's cleared. 72 minutes gone. We could still easily get caught here, and this looks like it. Felipe Anderson on the overlap. They've not had many chances, but they've got many, many in the box here, but we've done well. The Darabio, crucial intervention there from the uh, big centre-back. Armstrong won't get to it. This is, this is the problem. Just feels relentless at the moment from West Ham. They're really turning it on, as you'd expect. It's to Cook. That is rushed. Hurried clearance. Seager heads away. This does not feel good to me. Bane's out of position. I want to make a sub. I want to stop this pressure. But we can't. Oh, it's a good ball. Kind of brazy. Even goes long. Yes, well, that was not pretty, was it? Not pretty at all. But we've done it. Mission accomplished. And we're through. I mean, generally, pretty confident, I would say. Sort of, maybe looking back at it now. Um, didn't feel that way. Felt like for most of that second half that West Ham were about to uh, make us look silly. But, yeah, we pulled it off. We kept the ball well sort of possession stats that we don't often see and we will play Reading oh, the weird Reading fan we're coming for you imagine oh just imagine the cup final on Twitch I'll wear a suit if we get to the cup final I'm fucking wearing a suit that is a big day for the club Right, well, back to reality, back to the Premier League and Crystal Palace, a great game for us to come into. We didn't make any changes in that game at all. Uh, so let's go and take a look, see if we're all a little bit tired. We're back at the Michael Caine. Uh, so let's take a look then. Everyone back in. Good, yep, yeah, everyone's happy here. Hunter on the bench, just in case we get a chance. Still looking for that Premier League goal that still evades Hunter. We'd love it. Uh, Zanatdanov keeps his place, even though chairs on a green. No, I think we'll keep that as it is. Zanatdanov has not provided the goals, though, that we hoped he would. Still, we know he's got it in him, and he's a, you know, he's a calming presence in that midfield. Uh, there was a commenter who suggested that Caicedo and a Silva would be our two best attacking midfielders. I mean, by the numbers, not. Physically, by the stats, maybe. But uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm happy with the side at the moment. Let's take a look at uh, Crystal Palace. Still under Hodgson, no Vieira yet. Uh, Townsend still there. It's a hard, dangerous two up top. Could have some uh, hard battles in the midfield. It's a good team, really good team. Lowest rated player being uh, Joel Ward at right back, 72. McCarthy, 72 as well. Would love a win here just to keep the good vibes going. Come on then. Come on then, the Tanners. Right, let me just make this clear. There is no curse. The white shirt, the white chocolate Cornetto is not cursed. All right? And we're going to prove it today against Palace. Anyway, back to a very, very wet Michael Caine arena here. On the banks of the River Mole in beautiful Leatherhead, sorry. If you've never been, you know, imagine you, some of you might live, live near Leatherhead. Why not take a day trip? Hit me up in the DMs. I can give you some advice on where to go. You could even go to Fetchham Grove, which in this reality was soon to be 
the Michael Caine Arena. It's a nice day out. I would recommend it. You go to Box Hill. It's lovely. Anyway, poor start there. The curse is real. Curse is real. I don't, don't want to be that guy. Oh, that's a great ball. Benteke swivels. Good chance. Good chance there for Palace. Poor start from Leatherhead. Armstrong ignores the run. Oh, it's a nice ball. Really well weighted into Weyers. And Adonov was there. Unlucky. Cash. Away from Zaha. Looks for the simple ball into Adam Armstrong. Into Zanatinov. Can he turn away? Oh, it's just too crowded there. Keep piling on the pressure here. Caicedo takes his time. Sprays the ball out to Josh De Silva. Oh, he can release Zanatinov. Lovely work here. BB King hits it well. Leatherhead really starting to uh, turn on the style here. Turn on the class. Oh, Darren Beo, what a player. Uh, ref, 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 ref. Referee. Zaha just took him out there. Didn't want to take a touch there. Woodman took his fucking time. Woody, Woody, what are you doing, mate? What are you doing? You absolutely had that. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Don't even think about it. Fucking hell, De Silva, thank you. Jesus Christ, what an end to that half that would have been. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, De Silva just tempted in there, but Penteke wins. Oh, no. Fucking hell, what is Woodman doing? It's a pen. It's a fucking pen, isn't it? Oh, fuck off. Woodman running in sand. Gutted. Absolutely gutted. Why is he so slow? That's definitely a pen, isn't it? Oh, no. Are you up against Woodman? Oh, down the middle, you cheeky fucker. Well, well, we've only ourselves to blame. Only ourselves to blame. The wet pitch here at the Michael Caine. Good ball in, Benteke Woodman. Keeps us in the battle here. And now Zanatanov can bring it forward. Huge save. Making up for his poor performances so far. Weyer apparently still on the pitch. <sighs> oh, Zanatanov. Get him off. Looks for BB King. Back to Armstrong. Difficult opportunity on the slide. I think it's pulled back for a foul there. And it's time to knock on the door of the chairman's office. Triple sub here. Desperation from Hunter. Some good substitutions to be able to make. Hester Cook, chair, and the Balogun on. Hester Cook straight on to score a goal. That is massively needed here. Chester, I could go in, you know. Oh, yes! First touch of the game for the talisman. The one club man, Charlie Hester Cook. Straight away. And that is some free kick as well. Chester. He's cooking. He's cooking. Hunter with the team talk. That's beautiful. A wand of a right foot. Charlie has to cook. That's gorgeous. That is superb work there. From a man that many doubted could make the step up to the Premier League. And I'd say he's done a decent job. The gun is loaded. The cook is in session. Can we find something here? We bomb forward. De Silva into the box. Can he lay it back here? For BB King! How's it? Yes! Come on then! We didn't see that coming with just two minutes left here at the Michael Caine Arena. It's bundled in and Hunter's on his feet. And they're in the crowd, yes. Limbs, limbs, limbs everywhere. Lovely stuff. And it's that man again. Long live the king. The Chilean. The Pepsi Max ambassador. Born in Stoke, made in Chile. Copper America hero. <laughs> Owner of a lot of luck today. The white kit curse is gone. It's gone. It's broken. The curse has been broken. I mean, we've still got a few minutes left, so let's not get too excited. Caicedo, that's lovely. That's power. That's a mistake. That's giving the ball away. 
Seeker, that's smart. Yes, come on then. White kits. White kits win. Long live the whites. No, we can't, we can't say that. Happy with that though. Very, very happy. Two wins in a row. We absolutely deserved it. No questions there. BP King once again. Weir is in some terrible form at the moment though. I'm genuinely starting to worry for the lad. Still very early in the season, but wow. Fifth. This is where we need to be. This is the standard that we're setting now. Sure, we're not at Sheffield United levels. We're continuing to have an excellent season. Um, but we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. Just one loss. 11 goals scored. We're up there. Two games remaining in this episode. Wolves at Molyneux. And then very, very quickly after that, we invite Aston Villa to the Michael Caine Arena. Tempted to give Armstrong a run today, but we'll start where? I mean, if we were to play Armstrong up top, we'd have to play Roberts out on the right. There's been a lot of talk about starting Roberts. You know, people are interested to see him have a run in the team. Um, but Dave believes in Weyer, so we're starting him where he should be. Yeah, chairing on a blue. I think we've got to start him on a blue. Zanatinov's not performed. caicedo has been good. Allison is dependable. Keep that as it is. It's weird. We're playing well. We're in the best form in the Premier League that we've ever been in. It's not quite it's not quite feeling right, is it? But I'm happy with this side. Well, we'll keep it as it is. We don't need to mess things up too much. Let's take a look at the home side. Uh, Wolves today. Yeah, we feels like we play them every week, Wolves. Um, some really good players in there. Five at the back. Katrone and Anaki Williams up top. Dangerous. But we've got Chair back in the side. This is a good team, isn't it? It is a good team. Cody. Yeah, very, very good side. Poorly rated keeper. Pedence, not even on the bench. I like Pedence. I'd sign him in a heartbeat. I love a little man. I love a cheeky little one. Right, but I'm happy. I'm happy. Let's crack on, shall we? At Molyneux. Whew, tough, tough conditions in recent games. Here at a packed Molyneux. Trip to the Midlands. And you've got to say Wolves will be wary of Leatherhead who are in great form at the moment. Despite the poor form. Yes, Ilias. <laughs> he loves winning the ball back. Now the chairman. Away from Ruben Vinegar. Puts it into the path of Adam Armstrong. We'll hit this on the left here. Not a bad hit. Not a bad hit at all. Billy Wally. Can you think of a better Premier League player whose name is funnier when you replace the first letters of the la first and last name? I think Billy Wally is probably the funniest one. But I'm, I'm open to suggestions. Unfortunately, we don't have Hester Cook who came on in the last game and slotted one top bins. It's not been Adam Armstrong's uh, strong suit in recent games, and he hits it into the wall. But we will have a corner here. Final chance of the half. Well, Tim, you've failed to do anything good. But can you manage a trademark leatherhead near post flick? He can. Could fall to BB King here. Oh, he's taking his time. Oh, Connor Cody is there. Josh De Silva will put it straight back across. <laughs> and that was a cross come shot. And that is half time here. Unlucky. Unlucky. Again, we dominate possession. Only two shots on target. But we are dominating. There's a ball on here. Way a nice flick into Armstrong. Timothy Weyer now onto his right foot. Big chance here. Yes. Weyer. 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 I said Weyer. What's going on? Um, I never doubted. Did you? Did anyone doubt? Really? Simple stuff here. Lovely back heel there from the American. What, watch where you walking. Watch where you... <laughs> the boy from Brooklyn. From Brooklyn. That is awful. Let me try that again. Watch where... <laughs> Let's not ever try that again. Watch where you... Watch where you're shooting, yo. Watch where you're walking. Cashman. Something. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, Armstrong's done Connor Cody there. 
No, how's he fucked that? BB King, three and three for the Chilean. Easy. Easy. The King. Well, we had to bundle that in, to be fair. He's not scored beautiful goals recently, has he? But he scored the goals, and that's what we're here for. Lovely ball there from Cash Money. Real fortune there. Huge fortune, but we'll take it. Nutsy comes for the short one. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Zidandinov. It's Zidandinov. It's over. It's It's over. It's over. Game over. Zidandinov. That class. That class. Unbelievable. He knew exactly what he was going to do there. That's nuts. That is nuts. That is special. That's his first touch. Second touch of the game. Third touch. Fourth touch. And that's why they call him the Kazakhstani Zidane. Unbelievable scenes here. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Come on then! <laughs> what a finish to wrap up a commanding performance here at Molyneux. Some great individual performances. Weyer gets his goals and Adonov with a goal of the season contender. And yeah, the strawberry kits, the strawberry cornetto is looking great. We've had some big, big games, haven't we? Big games today. We are looking unbeatable at the moment but we've said that before and then we've had poor runs so a big win as well <laughs> oh, we are top the league so uh, 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 uh. Ba, 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 ba. goal difference goals scored making the difference here number one <laughs> arsenal 15th yeah that's that's tricky but we can ignore that for now. What an incredible start to the season. So, so, there we are, Alisson saying the uh, this team's a place for him, good stuff. We're on a streak, lads, we're on a streak. Tyler Roberts has to go for 3.9. Did we say that we were gonna allow one renegotiation here? Do we think that's fair? Maybe one or two. If it doesn't go... Oh. Okay. It would be fair to at least do it one. One more is, is release fee. Uh, 1.3 mil for the chairman. That is a disgrace. That is an absolute disgrace. He's still... He's a good option. So Nat Denoff at 76. He needs to... He needs some better performances, really. Um, right. Let's do it then, shall we? Let's keep moving. Let's take a look at the sides for the final game of this episode. And Leatherhead, ooh, more poor form for Alisson and De Silva. At least Caicedo plays, so that's fine. We just do that, we do that. And then I'm gonna play Ashley Young just because we haven't played him. And he's actually slightly better in terms of team spirit. Balogun is a, is a super sub. I don't think, I mean, he only got to this point of being a, like a service, but he's actually, do you know what? He's He's got all of the numbers you want, really. If you were to say there are only five stats that you're allowed as a centre forward, those are the ones, aren't they? He's a pure centre forward and one time shot as well. Problem is, if he's not getting on the end of, of uh, through balls or crosses, he can't do a lot. That is the issue. But yeah, Weyer has earned his wear onto the team sheet today, definitely. Let's take a look at the opposition here. A Villa side. With no Grealish, obviously at Arsenal now. Bit of a swap for Smith Rowe out on the left. That's where I think he's actually best. Watkins, a player that we would love to sign. Be very happy with that. Phil Jones at the back. Jones and Mings, what a duo. It's a good team. It's a very good team. Back at the Michael Caine. Top of the league. Best team in the Premier League as it stands. It's uncharted territory for Hunter and Leatherhead. But all we've got to do... For you maths fans out there, 
is win every single game for the rest of the season and we win the league it's as simple as that it's as simple as one two three abc all of that stuff off it there unlucky Watkins pace oh Seeger that looked unnecessarily risky there but a Darren Bio back in the side today the metronome of this team Mr. Dependable Ashley Young in today as well haven't seen much of him this season we know he's good from set pieces So Natanov on the right this time. So Natanov is ready to go. A lovely ball out to Smith Rowe. That's a really smart ball in there. Seager does really well. That's the cook. Good header away. Danger not cleared though. Smith Rowe lays it off to John McGinn. Villa looking confident here. That's a really nice ball out to Bernard Traore. Ashley Young gets a touch and now Zanatinov can bring it forward. Powers past Lansbury if he as if he wasn't there. Now Zanatinov. Ball stuck to his feet. Armstrong. Oh, should have hit that first time. Zanatinov. Still Zanatinov. Oh <laughs> no way. No way. Oh, what a save. <laughs> oh, Zanatanov will not be beaten today. He is in beast mode. Little shoulder there into the defender. Somehow that is saved. Zanatanov always involved at the moment. Onto his right here. Difficult chance. <laughs> wow, the bank shot. It's a foul, definitely. Hmm, okay. Ashley Young, the man for this job. Can you still do it under the wall? <laughs> not like that. I'm sure he used to be able to do that. Uh, that has not worked. Come on, we need a goal now. We want four and four. That's a dangerous ball. Seager's done really well. Oh, bloody hell. So Natanov's clearance is blocked. Caicedo can't get there. Oh my god. Oh no, no, that's a goal. Fuck! That just I just knew that was coming. Had an element of inevitability about it. Seeger did well with the initial bit of defending, but then somehow blocked Zanatanov's clearance. Caicedo couldn't get it back, and then Ollie Watkins. Shit. This is it. Last chance here. Last chance saloon. Armstrong's ball won't find Jamali. That's a good header, though. From the Leatherhead legend, Misha Jamali. Oh, fucking Phil Jones again. Rolling back the <laughs> rolling back the years there. Ah. Oh, not gonna get to that. Unlucky. Oh, the precious bit. Fuck's sake. Well, look, we've had a good. We've had a good run. We've had a good run. Phil fucking Jones. Poor performances all around there up top. Deary me, no one could influence this game. Um, let me just uh, check that out well, off the top of the table. That's disappointing. Um, disappointing end to a really good episode, but we've got to take it as it comes. You know, we're going to have difficult games. We're going to lose games this season. European qualification is the goal. We're never going to win. Well, we might win the league, but we're, that's not what we're here for. We just need, you know... If, if, if every four games we have those performances, then we're going to be fine. Um, we've been offered the Sheffield United job. Top of the table. Sheffield United. BB King Armstrong. Zanat did not have player, player of the month. Fair enough. Armstrong up to 78 as well. Good work. Chair is actually getting worse. How is that possible? So there we have it. Unbelievable scenes. Probably the best goal so far this season. Zidane did not incredible um yeah we're cooking we're cooking well we're, we're just looking to be in good form top of the table for a bit but we could be back there who knows we are looking really really good i just can't wait to see where this season goes we're still in the fa cup we're still very much within a chance of a european spot sky's the limit at the moment come on the green army join me for the stream on friday no on monday if you can but if not like this video and subscribe i'll see you in a bit